First, disconnect the ground line of the 12 volt battery. This in turn disconnects the 48 volt electrical system from the power supply. Next, remove the exhaust pipe with the gasoline particle filter. To do this, lift the vehicle to working height. For the later removal of the integrated starter generator, the transmission was removed from this vehicle. After removing the exhaust pipe, drain the coolant from the low temperature circuit. To do this, open the hose couplings at the marked points. To prevent damage to the tension of the catch spring on the coupling, proceed as follows. First, push the catch spring to the side and then down over the eyelet. Lower the vehicle again. The next step is to remove the catalytic converter. First, remove the engine cover and the heat protection plate. Now disconnect the electrical connectors of the lambda sensor in front and behind the catalytic converter. And now the catalytic converter can be removed. Then remove the three-part heat protection plate underneath. Now remove the bracket. Remove the coolant lines from the starter generator control unit. Lay the cables to one side and close the openings using suitable plugs. Next, unlock and disconnect the electrical plug connection. Open the sealing elements. Undo the nuts on the electrical cables. Then remove the cables and lay them aside. Undo the screw of the ground cable and put it aside as well. Undo the four screws of the terminal box cover and then remove the cover. When reinstalling, you must first replace the seal. Unlock the electrical plug connection in the direction of the arrow and then disconnect the plug. For better visibility, the next steps are shown on the previously removed control unit of the starter generator. Undo the screws shown. The seal on the back of the housing must be replaced before installation. Before you can remove the control unit, you must loosen the following screws. You can now remove the control unit and the work is complete. The installation is carried out in the reverse order.